Hello, my friends. Got Robin Ann here, and welcome. I am got two recipes I'm going to show you real quick. And the main one's going to be a broccoli slaw, which I'm so excited to have. But a little bonus recipe is how I make my iced coffee. Um, I start off with about eight ounces of cold coffee that's been in the refrigerator. Um, either have it sitting out for a few hours when it's, you know, you've freshly made it so that it cools down or put it in the refrigerator. I recommend that you use cold coffee. Don't use it hot and put ice in it, melts it down and yuck, who wants that? Okay, so I've got my eight ounces of coffee. I've got everything sitting around here, y'all. Um, then I put in my sweetener. I like it sweet. Anybody else? <laughs> I use confectionery sugar. I use confectionery sugar for everything. I love it. Um, I have a little scooper that's probably about like a little two ounce scooper. And it's a heaping one. One, oh, I'm making a mess, y'all. And two, two heaping ones. Again, I like it sweet, so you can adjust it because I'm gonna put even more sweetener in it because here is my secret recipe or ingredient. <laughs> English toffee, this now stevia. Oh my God, this stuff is good but don't get overboard with it because then it leaves an aftertaste. So nice squirt, just like that. That's how you measure in my house. Now, I'm gonna use this. Darn it, I didn't mean to get it dirty. All right, anyhow, <laughs> put that across. I'm also gonna put my collagen in. I usually put my collagen in my green tea, but today I'm gonna put it in here. Yeah, so nice little scoop. That's where I got my scoop for my confection. All right, let's get it moving. And um, that, 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 and heavy whipping cream, y'all. Yeah, buddy. How much? Oh, however, how much you want. Quite a bit. All right. And we need some ice because it's called iced coffee. So let's get some ice right here. What the heck? Two of them just went in the sink. That don't help none, does it? But that's okay. Let me... Let me fill it up. How many of you hate going to the freezer and go to get some ice cubes? And there's none in there. <laughs> yeah, not a fan of that either. So there we go. You get to watch me make ice cubes. Hey, you got three recipes. <laughs> I tease, I tease. Okay, put my little thing in here. Get to shaking. Okay. I know a lot of people use those little blenders and stuff, but I just like to shake. Although those little blenders would probably be handy with having that uh, putting collagen or something like that in it because that collagen tends to want to do better than something hot. But anyhow, there you go. I wasted three minutes of your time showing you how to make this iced coffee. <clears throat> that stuff is so delicioso. Yummy to the yum yum. All right, let's put this apron on because I'm a messy cook. Y'all, this broccoli slaw is so very easy and you pretty much put whatever you want in it. Um, all I'm going to be putting in it today is my broccoli that I have already cut up into pieces, ever how big you want it. Some cheddar cheese, some cheddar, ch sharp cheddar cheese. Um, if you're doing keto, you need to shred it up yourself. Low carb, you can use this. But uh, yeah, you're saying why? Because this stuff is literally coated with potato starch. That's why it's not keto, low carb at best, okay? And then you're gonna take your favorite sweetener and your favorite mayo. Um, and that's basically gonna be it. Uh, you can also add seeds like sunflower seeds. You could also add cram. If you're doing low carb, you could use raisins or cran raisins, craisins, is that what they're called? I love all that stuff. But you know, you start adding a lot of that stuff and you're starting to get out of low carb even. I mean, you're definitely out of keto. Uh, especially with raisins and stuff like that. But uh, you can put just about anything you want in this. So I just wanted to let you know, also the mayo, the better you get your mayo, the, you know, some people make their own mayo. I do not. I'm all about convenience. <laughs> I'm always telling somebody, you do you. Don't let someone tell you that you, you know, need all these fresh ingredients and all that malarkey. No, you don't. Okay, I'm going to start off with about a cup of mayo and then I'm just going to put my confectionery sugar in it. I'm using confectionery sugar because I don't think that regular sugar mixes up well in I'm using a big old heaping thing here. 
because it's going to be sweet. I don't like it's going to be sweet. Uh, but anyhow, the confection, confectionery sugar blends up, mixes up better. You know, you don't, uh, when you mix up sugar, you want to make sure that those crystals break down. So if you use confectionery sugar, already broken down for you. See how that works? All right. Now, I like to make this pretty sweet because I'm not going to lie. My favorite slaw dressing of any kind is this Marzetti's right here. I still got some in my pantry. I love this stuff, and a lot of people do. Tons of sugar in it. That's why we love it, people. Sugar is an addiction just as much as anything else. Not bad. Maybe a little sweeter. Just a little. Just a tiny bitty bitty bitty. Got a half a thing there. Okay. Again, you can put anything you want in here. I am going to put, you know, I wanted to put some onions in it. Because I thought maybe that would be some good with some red onions. I don't have any. Darn it. So, I'm going to let this get cold. Oh, man, I thought I had some minced onions. Y'all, I thought I had some chopped up onions. And I was going to add that. I don't have any. Darn it. This is not going to be a very colorful mix, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my... You're all thinking, well, that ain't much. Wow. Uh, how much uh, broccoli is in there? Two nice big heads, okay? So just start mixing up. Don't put your cheese or anything in here yet until you mix this up. Uh, just because mayonnaise and all that goody good stuff will kind of glump like your cheese, don't put your cheese in here until you get this mixed up. Because it'll glump all in one area and you don't want that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I didn't use that whole thing of mayonnaise that I mixed, but there's plenty. Okay, now I'm going to add cheese. Um, when I eat my portion, I am going to add sunflower seeds. The hubby doesn't like sunflower seeds. There's a good cup. You know, I don't want quite that much. And again, you can't mix this. You can't mess this <laughs> up. Oh, it already looks good. Man, I wish I had some red onion. Because that would be good. Red onion would be good. Um, again, any kind of uh, seeds or nuts. But go careful on all that because you will knock yourself out of ketosis with too many nuts or too, too many seeds. I mean, that's all I've got right now, y'all. And that's... I think that might be all I'm going to put in it. Like I said... Here before, because I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator. I might grab me some onions. I've got white onions. I might chop that up, put it in there. I doubt it. Wish I had a red onion because that would be good. Um, but I'm just going to get some minced onions. Since it's, oops, since it's going to go back in the refrigerator and that, uh, the minced onion, I know they're dry, but they draw that moisture from the refrigerator and they'd be softened up by the time you went to eat it. Uh, but since we don't have the red onion I want to put in there, guess what I'm going to use? Onion powder. What did I always say? Don't let anybody tell you that you can't make a recipe. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It may not be as pretty. Now, if you're going to go somewhere and you want to eat, feed it to other people, make it pretty. Make the recipe right. But if you're doing it for you and you and maybe your family or something, come on. Open up your mouth and shove it in. It's going to be so daggone good. <laughs> All right. Let me just mix it up a little bit more. But, yeah, this... This is a great summer salad. And I apologize that I'm not putting a lot of stuff in this one. But this is, I do me. Because I tell you, you do you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this is going to be delicious with tonight's fish that we're having. And it's going to be low carb. So, you can't go wrong. And the Marzetti's needs to go in the trash. Oh, I hate that because I love it. Marzetti's, don't get mad. I love your dressing. I love it. And so does a lot of other people. i tell you what. But, a lot of sugar. So, we're going to do the low-carb version, and that's basically it. So, if you stayed all the way, I really appreciate you. I hope you maybe make yourself some iced coffee, and add, let me know, what all do you like adding into this uh, broccoli slaw? Broccoli slaw, I guess that's really, um, this is a broccoli salad because it has big chunks of the broccoli. If I chop it all up, it's a broccoli slaw. Ah, see? You could add carrots to this. I think I might have some carrots in there. I might... Shred me up a few carrots and throw in there. Again, you can't go wrong. You put whatever the heck you want in there, but just watch it. The low carb and the keto thing. Watch that, okay? And 
please do me a favor. If you have any wonderful stories you'd like me to tell about your mom, put down in the comments. I'm trying to get something together for Mother's Day to try and honor our moms for those of us who are still blessed to have them. So please tell me some stories. I'd love to share them. And don't worry, I'll change names to protect the innocent. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. So Sunday will be my next post and we'll talk more about moms. But please do me a favor and love yourself and love someone else because life is way too short. <laughs> and remember, try new food because yummy to the yum yum, you're going to love stuff. You will. Just try it, okay? All right. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye.